You could take your elemental forms even further by adding in multiple options and letting people know what the total cost would be. We've got here some checkboxes and I may go for option four and I may go for option one. The total is $5.20. Look at that, 25. Let's go for option five as well. It totals it up for you. You can have a send button to send the details off now to your admin or whoever with some further fields like message, address, phone number, or any other options. You know, you can have whatever you want. This is Elemental Forms. Or you could completely remove the send field as well. Let me show you how. We got a form and we only got four fields on it. Name, email, we got options, which is checkbox. You can see the options I've added here. I've got five at the moment and I've made it be an inline list. There is a bit of CSS in here to style out the boxes to make sure they're in line a little bit better. I'll show you that in a moment. What's important though is the advanced tab where I've gone and given it the ID options. You have gotta do that to make sure the code works correctly. So if you wanted to give it a different name, be my guest. And then we have a total build. This is just a text build, even though it shows a number because we are adding in currency like dollars, pound signs, or you could even put GBP placeholder zero and in the advanced tab we have the id called total again you've got to stick an id into there if we go to the advanced tab i'll show you the css which is here so we're adding in a background color and a font color of white for the total for the checkbox we have some styling which aligns things what look at the checkbox okay if i go and get rid of this bit of code you can see everything was a little bit crammed together and the box is now not really in line with the text. We go and add that back in. Things look so much better. And we are also able to apply our own branded color. Now this field here, if I was to go and uncomment this like that, did you notice the send button has disappeared? And if I comment it out again, the send button is back in place and you can style that out. So if you want to have it, have it. If you don't want to have it, well, the code is there for you to mess around with. I and mean, then underneath the form, we have a HTML widget, and that's where the magic applies with how this basically works. The very important bit is that whatever you state here, so option one hyphen dollar five, you gotta make sure that matches here. If you go and change that to be 55, this is not gonna work for that option when it comes to totaling it up. So if you've gone and popped in particular words when your checkbox or your select or radios or whatever, make sure that matches what you have here. And then I've said return five. So if I'd gone and said return like that, when you go and select option one, it would actually go and pop that number in, which would not make sense. But you have quite a lot of control over that, okay? So it should be crystal clear what you need to change. And then down here, it goes and performs the totaling. So it now says, doesn't matter how many you pick, whether you pick one or all of them, it will now total it up because that's what you're going to have. Look, I could start picking all of them up and I could then hit the send button or take out the send submit button and just have it as an online calculator with elemental forms. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.